Hello guys, I'm back with a new practical. So today we learn how to recover recover metadata in Linux. It is in RHEL seven. Yeah, or CentOS. Okay. What is scenario when our metadata corrupt? There could be a multiple scenario. There is a one. If if somebody somebody take out hard disk from server by mistake. The second, if any other software overwrite metadata of a file system, okay, what would be happen in this case? When your system will be reboot, it will stuck in control D as all of you are the Linux expert so control D stuck when any mount point is not able to mount during the boot process okay so in this scenario I just reproduce this scenario okay so my system is stuck in the control D as you can see here okay first of all let me log in on the system right okay so as we all do the same thing after login in the rip control D oh my god one of my mount point is saying does not exist okay what can I do either I can recover here either I can recover on putty so I believe putty is a better because you can run your commands very easily are there okay so to take my system on a putty what can I do I will just command this mount point and then save the file again I will run the command mount hyphen av wow okay good to go then reboot your system so after reboot your system you can access this system on your putty like your network is up and then we will gonna troubleshoot the system on a putty okay okay let's wait for a few seconds very good it's coming up very fast great good good processor of my computer okay now let's come on this okay I log in this my system is up. Let me log in with the root. Right. Ahead. Okay. Now, what can I do? First of all, <clears throat> um, like I unmount that on this. Now, let me uncomment it and try to mount it here. Wow. Same error. Nothing changed okay so what can I do now first I will check previous oh my god it's giving me error unknown device and it's giving a warning that this PID not found and rejected by a filter oh my god it's giving an error here you can see this oh this is the one UUID for any hard disk for you can see this is a unique ID for any hard disk which is um, you know mounted on your system so it's saying that like there is a device 
a b c so that is unknown state right and so this is the id is not found we have to recover it and mount our mount point successfully so in this practical i will tell you how can we do that first what we need to do copy this because it's very big i cannot remember it i don't have such sharp mind okay so now copy it here so first of all what we need to do pv create this is a command to create a pv but you guys all use it a lot of time in your life but here we will use it for some other purpose there's a lvm backup data vg that's our mount point uh, sorry it's the uh, vg this thing you can see right data vg and thereafter what we need to do hyphen hyphen uuid and uh, give that whatever we copy now you can copy it again till here and this and the device name wow the volume is created and successfully giving some error forget about that okay just he said successfully created forget about this warning okay now what would be our next command our next command would be this cg restore our vg name as you can see here data vg right we just create wow restore volume group data vg that's great thereafter we have to run one command to check this is data is syncing or something because it's very dangerous you're doing other activity during uh, syncing your data oh my god Mm -hmm. white yeah got it so you can see this copy and syncing there's nothing process is going on this system so we are good to go for the next step so what will be the next step we have to check how many our vg is active state and lv active state so i run the command lv and scan oh i saw this there is one our mount point it is inactive what would you all guys know how to activate it but just for my this practical i will be telling you how can we activate i point a y dev your data vg okay wow it's activate i believe let's see the come on wow you can see the difference inactive and active state so we are good to go to mount our mount point so let's run the command slash mount dev data vg and data lv and give the mount point name slash data wow great mount point is mounted now you can run the command df hyphen wow data is there and let me check is data is there in my mount point wow my testing file is there great thanks for watching my video i hope this practical will help you in your real scenario